Just wait for a couple of people to jump on. Cool, so it says six people are on so far, so just um, comment below and uh, set, hey Lara, hey Donna, um, tells me some people that are on and others it doesn't tell me, so say hello below and say where you're watching from, I'm in Portugal at the moment. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so someone asked me the other day how to get to 10k a month as quickly as possible. And so I said I'd do a live stream on it for him and for anyone else. Now, the reason I say 10k a month, awesome Donna. Hey Linda, the reason I say 10k a month is because that is like a dream for a lot of people. And it used to be for me as well. I used to want to hit 10k a month. Um, for a long time. And, you know, I had some weeks and some months where I made a lot more than that. I, um, hey, Nick. Um, yeah, so I, I had a lot of, uh, big, big weeks. And, um, when I was, when I was kind of new to business, but it was really, really inconsistent. Okay. I would make a lot of sales and then they'd fall over, I'd be very up and down. And I was also paying out a lot of money as well. Um, so now I've consistently made between like, well, more than 10 K a month since for almost two years. Um, and I have made more than 20 grand a month. So 20 to 40 plus grand a month since February of this year. So it's never been below 20 K mo most of this year. Yeah. And it keeps going up um, and what's come up for me now as I'm making more money is it's obviously not just about the money and it never should be. It's always been about helping people. But as I make more money, it's been about contributing more. It's been less about creating a lifestyle for myself and my family and more about giving back to the world in a big way and doing things that um, that help me to give back, but also in being fulfilled within myself as well. So when I started out, um, for those of you who don't know, I started out as a personal trainer and it was after I had my daughter, I lost 29 kilos in seven months after having her. And I looked around out there for, for mum's boot camps or something like that, where I could take her along, but I wouldn't be pushing her in a pram where she would be looked after and I could lose the weight and meet some mums. And I couldn't find anything out there like it. So I decided to lose the weight for myself. I did lost that 29 kilos by myself and I started Power Mums, which was mums group fitness classes um, outdoors with babysitting included. Hey Moira, hey Leah, um, hey Greg. So I, I started these mums um, boot camps. I was the first one to do that in Brisbane. A lot of people ended up copying afterwards, um, which is fine um, because you should never worry about competition because no one else is like you. Hey Laura. And so, um, I, I started, uh, power mums and I took that to hundred K in the first year and 200 K in under two years. Now, like I said, I did have a lot of ups and downs. Hey, Sarah had a lot of ups and downs with power mums and after power mums, I kind of went a bit backwards as well after I had my second child and I left my, my mentors that I'd had for two years and um, I had a, a year or more where I really struggled and I was holding myself back. And uh, 2014, my income actually went downhill. I was in a shitty mindset and I had a mentor who wasn't the right fit for me. Now, you can't blame any of your results on anyone else. You've got to take 100% responsibility yourself. But he wasn't the right fit for me. And my income went downhill that year and my results and my action taking, everything went downhill. I went from 
making like 20 grand of sales. And when I say sales, it's not like actual cash in the bank, but 20 grand of sales in a week or 5K cash consistently. Um, or like then, oh, well, it wasn't consistent. It was kind of up and down. But I went from being able to do that quite easily to the end of 2014, I was only making four grand a month. Now, that's not much compared to what I was doing before. And so I realized at the end of 2014, something had to change. And well, I knew before that actually, but I just couldn't snap myself out of it. Hey, Krista. Um, so I couldn't snap myself out of it. I knew my mindset was shitty. I knew I was procrastinating on Facebook, but I just couldn't shift it. And I had a call with a mindset coach at the end of 2014. And I ended up signing up to do a three day retreat with him, which was $5,000. Now that was more than I was earning a month at the time. So it was a lot of money for me back then. And, but I ended up doing it and having that com well, signing up for it, having that conversation shifted my mindset. It allowed me to let go of the things that I was holding, why I was holding back. I was holding back because I'd been burnt by mentors. I'd been burnt by trainers, stealing clients. I'd been burnt from losing my, well, not losing my business. I sold it, but having to start all over again, it was tough. Hey, Louise. And because I had been in that place where I wasn't taking my business seriously. I was attracting clients who weren't taking my business seriously as well. Hey, Ria. And so that my mindset really played part in the actions I was taking or the actions I wasn't taking and the people I was attracting into my life. And so that conversation really shifted everything for me because of that conversation and that commitment, paying that five grand I got serious again. I had to make that money. I didn't have that money. So I had to go out and make it. So I took massive action. I focused on sales again and I worked on my mindset. Now that person ended up canceling his retreat. So I didn't even end up going to it. I didn't get any knowledge from him. I didn't get any support or learnings or anything like that. But that phone call was the catalyst for me then tripling my business in three months by myself. And from there, um, after that, in a year and a half, not even, not even, um, hey Z, hey Matt, uh, not even two years, so about a year and a half, I've 10 times my monthly income, yeah? So not only that, but completely changed my life. I live in a big house and, you know, having a big house isn't everything, but I live in a big, beautiful house. It's on three levels, um... And it's got hectares of bushland all around me and wallabies all around me. It's beautiful. It's like my dream home. Um, I have an amazing lifestyle where in the past I was traveling. I've been traveling for years now. But now in the past it was like, I think it was 2014 or 15, I, I went on a big trip. But the money was from Centrelink giving us a big payout for the kids. It wasn't money that I'd earned. And so... You know, I was traveling, but I wasn't traveling the way I do now. The way I do now, I can stay wherever I want. I can, if I want to stay in the most expensive place, mm -hmm. I can. If I, if I don't want to, if I want, I can stay wherever. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an expensive place all the time. I can buy anything I want. I can do anything I want whilst I'm traveling. I'm in a couple of weeks time, less than two weeks time. I'll be in London for two days, then Cyprus for two days, staying with my mentor in her beautiful house in Cyprus, going and doing a photo shoot in Santorini, and then going um, to Barcelona and meeting up with, with my partner and the kids in Barcelona. Um, I can do these things without stressing about money, without thinking about them. And I'm still paying big rent back home that I'm not even living in that house. So I have everything I want and need now lifestyle-wise. And like I said before, lifestyle is not my driver anymore. In the beginning, you've got to think about, obviously, that's a bit of a recap of my story for you guys. So now I want to relate this to you, okay? And no matter, everyone on this call is going to be in a different position, a different journey within your business or within your life. And so the advice that I give, some of it might apply, some of it might not. So think about this in the way that how it applies to you. Now, when I was starting out, my driver was 
I wanted to create a better life and lifestyle for myself and my family. I had nothing. I was living off, hey Sue, I was living off Centrelink, off um, $500 a week, 300 went to rent, and the rest went to paying for everything else. $50 a week on food, that was it. We couldn't even afford meat. We couldn't afford to buy anything for our daughter or for the house. Um, we had to get it for free from Free Cycle and Gumtree and things like that. And um, we struggled. We couldn't afford a car. Like, you know, when some people say they have no money, but they've got a car and they've got, they just put aircon in their house and they've got Foxtel or Netflix or whatever. I couldn't afford anything. Yeah. And so that struggle pushed me forwards. That was my driver. I didn't want to stay in that position. I wanted to create a better life for myself and my family. And what that looked like to me was having freedom, being able to do what I wanted, when I wanted, making my own rules, not going back to a day job after I had my daughter, doing something that I loved and helping people. Um, but a big part was that lifestyle, being able to afford a car, being able to afford food, being able to pay my bills without stress, being able to travel. If I wanted to go over and visit family in England, being able to do that whenever I wanted to. And so that pushed me forwards in those first couple of years of business. So you've got to think about where you're at right now and post in the comments section, what is your driver? What's your reason why? Okay. And you could have a big long list of them, but what's your number one thing? Is it family? Is it lifestyle? Is it fulfillment? Is it freedom? Um, like what, what is your number one driver that's pushing you forwards? And so lifestyle was the thing for me in the beginning. Now I'll just wait for some comments, but I'll keep talking. Now, what I realized when I got to 10 K a month was that I then had everything I wanted. Bills were being paid. I had money and savings going into savings every week. Um, I had all the things, the lifestyle things that I'd been pushing for. So my driver had to change. And I actually stayed stuck at 10K a month for about six months because I didn't have that self-awareness at the time about, okay, I need a new driver. And when I finally did that, I was able to recognize that from journaling. And by journaling about my feelings and where I was at and what I wanted, I was able to find out that my new driver wasn't lifestyle. It was actually um, fulfillment doing things to make me feel fulfilled. Hey, Julie. Awesome, Donna. Perfect. Um, Sue said to prove to myself I can do it and create a fantastic life for my family. Awesome. So is it family or is it achievement or success or what is it, Sue, if you had to give it one word? Um, so once I realized then that it was it was about mm -hmm. fulfillment. I knew that procrastinating on Facebook, on wasting time, on not living my life to the full every day, I wasn't feeling fulfilled. It wasn't about having a certain amount of money in the bank account. It wasn't about pushing for a certain number of sales. It was about doing what makes me feel fulfilled. Awesome, Sue. And now it's more about contribution. It's about the bigger picture. It's about how can I step up and continue to step up to be a better version of myself? And how can I continue to step up and help people transform their lives at a deeper level? So as you grow, as you change, your driver and your reason why becomes different. So for me, it was lifestyle. Then when I got to 10K a month, it was fulfillment. And then when I was doing those things regularly and had all of that, um, it became, and kind of like that 20 to 40 K a month mark, it kind of, um, changed again. And then it got to contribution. Hey, Nicola. Um, so Louise says financial, I can't afford my bills. It's more than that. I want to live sustainably off the grid. That will be fulfilling. I will feel responsible and like I'm doing something good for the earth. I want to feel good. I want to contribute and help others do what I also want to do. Awesome. Cool. So is it sustainable lifestyle then, Louise? 
I think that would be it. It's more than financial. It's like sustainable lifestyle is what I'm thinking for you. So you've got to think about this driver and this is what pushes you forwards. Awesome, Louise. This is what pushes you forwards, guys. Okay. And you've got to realize that no matter what obstacles come your way, no matter what happens, use this driver to push you forwards. Okay. And when you think about the bigger picture, the small things don't matter. If you have one client drop off or if you don't make a sale today or if you're having a down day, if you think about that bigger picture, then it doesn't matter. Jamie said kids, lifestyle, divorce, time management dollars. Okay, so what? what's your driver though, Jamie? Is it family or lifestyle? Sue said, I just signed up a client for my eight-week challenge January, and she's also signed up to start in January 9th, paid in full. Awesome. Awesome, Sue. Well done. Hey, Carly. So you've got to have that driver first. Then the next step is you've got to get really, really clear on your target market. Who are you helping? Why do you want to help them? Now, I'm not going to go in, into that in detail now, but just ask yourself questions around who you want to help and why you want to help them. Okay. Then the next step from that is what is your message? How can you help these people? And then digging deeper from that, awesome lifestyle. Cool, Jamie. Um, so your driver, who you want to help, and what your message is, how you can help them, okay? And then you've got to put together a plan. So it's like, what are you actually selling? And you've got to figure out how much you want to earn. So going off the 10K a month, yeah? It's like, how are you going to make that 10K a month? What are your different offerings to be able to help these people? So for example, you could have a low end, a mid end, a mid level and a high level offer, or you might just have two of those. Okay. So it's like, for example, I know a lot of people on here will be in fitness. It's like at a low end, it could be boot camps, mid level could be PT and a higher end could be like a six or 12 month um, VIP package, or it could be a retreat or something like that. Okay. If you're in coaching, a low end could be an online program. A mid level could be some kind of one-on-one -on -one coaching and a high end could again be that VIP or retreat or a workshop or something like that. Okay. So you've got to think about what your different levels are and then you break that down. If you want to make 10 K a month, it's like, okay, what are my different levels? How is that helping people and how much is each of those things? And then you work out from there, well, I need 20 people on the low end, 10 people on the mid level and five people on the high end to make 10K a month. If you're on this phone call and you're already making 10K a month, it's like, well, what can I do to make 20K a month or whatever it is? And so it's, it's mindset. It's having that reason why. Hey, Nicola. So it's having that driver and reason why it's having the right mindset. So letting go of anything that's holding you back and being able to um, let go of anything that's not serving you. So looking at your physical environment, l looking at your relationships with people, let, looking at your limiting beliefs and the things that are holding you back and starting to shift them and replace them with positive, empowering beliefs that actually move you forwards decluttering your life, decluttering up here, but decluttering physically as well. There's lots of th different things you can do mindset wise, and I'll do another live stream on that another time. Um, and it's then having that strategy, knowing what you're selling, who you're selling it to, how it can help them transform and change their lives. Okay. So I'm going to go in a second. I've got a call mm -hmm. with a client in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to see if you guys had any questions before I go. And I'll just keep talking as I'm waiting for some questions. My little boy's just woken up. Hey. <laughs> um, so I'll keep talking just to finish off as I'm waiting for questions. But then from there, it's about taking action. And it's about taking massive action. If you're just starting out or you're kind of trying to get from that few grand or five grand a month to the 10K mark, 
you're at the stage where you have to push, you have to hustle. Now, push and hustle doesn't mean you've got to work 15 hours a day or get no sleep or wake up at 4 a.m. or whatever. Sometimes it might do. But if, if you do that every day and you're not looking after yourself, you're just digging your own grave. Yeah, you're making it harder for yourself. So you've got to have your foundations in place. You've got to make sure you're getting enough sleep. You've got to make sure you're getting exercise in. You're practicing self-care. You're working on your mindset. Uh, your relationships are good. You're eating well. All those things are really important. Then you've got to make sure you've got the foundations right in your business as well. So foundations in your business. <laughs> He's still sleepy foundations in your business are things like making sure you have direct debit set up for your clients, making sure you have contracts in place, making sure you know what your levels are and how much they cost, um, making sure you're clear on your target market and your messaging, um, putting content out there on a daily basis. Yeah. And you've got to take massive action. Now by massive action, You've got to focus on mindset, marketing, and sales on a daily basis, okay? Now, let go of anything that's not serving you. Let go of anything that's holding you back. Let go of any clutter in your life. And um, just focus on what is going to <clears throat> give people value and what's going to bring leads in and what's going to bring sales in on a daily basis and strengthening up here as well. Does anyone have any questions before I go? I'm going to do more of these live streams moving forwards. Um, I did three last week. I've only done one so far this week, so there'll be another couple coming. And they're all going to be around topics on how you can get to that 10K a month mark. People who are already there, think about doubling, okay? Um, and so if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about, anything you want me to overcome for you, let me know. I'm also offering, I've got... I've only got a few spots left for next week. I'm offering a 2017 uh, action plan, okay? Because I'm overseas at the moment, it's coming up to the end of the year. I want to be able to reach out and help more people. So normally my, my coaching sessions are $600. I'm offering a 2017 action plan where you can get on the phone with me and you can talk about what's been holding you back, overcome any struggles, and um, and put an actual action plan and goals and steps in place for you to be able to reach your goals faster than you ever thought possible. So if you're not a current client and you would like support with that, um, I do have a couple of spots left for next week. So either comment here or send me a personal message to grab a spot and um, I'll do that for you and we'll, we'll organize a time. Uh, current clients, I know there's a few of you on this call, so don't worry, you're not missing out. I'm creating something amazing for you um, at the moment as well. Um, so Sue said, I added extra value today. It worked so easy, cost me nothing. Exactly. If you think about, oh, well, posting on here, here and here is too hard and it takes ages. Is it worth it to be making 10K a month, 20K a month, 50K a month, 100K a month, whatever your numbers are, yeah? Is it worth putting in that effort on a daily basis to be able to create the lifestyle of your dreams and be able to create a life that most people never get. Most people go to a job working eight hours a day and and people don't want to put posts up on Facebook daily. Like seriously, you got to do the work if you want the result. If you want that life that you said you want in the beginning, you've got to put in the work. You've got to show up every day. You've got to give value. You've got to actually give a shit about people. Yeah? And if you put in the work, over time, it will snowball. It builds up. I've been in business. It'll be six years in January. I've had multiple businesses in that time. I've been coaching for four years, but really serious about it for, for about two and I realized that once I got to about five years in business, things started snowballing. All the work I'd done leading up to that point built up and it just snowballed and it started happening easier because I'd built those foundations in place. I'd worked on myself. I've spent about over $200,000 on my personal and business development. 
I've done the work on myself. I've done the work on my business to be able to have things happen easily now. I've still got to put in the work. Don't get me wrong, but it flows so much easier. Um, so I'm going to hop off now. Anyone who's not in my free group, it's the community of kick-ass action takers. If you just search it on Facebook, got some awesome stuff coming up for my clients. But if you wanted to grab one of those, um, one of those, uh, 2017 action plan calls, um, I, I literally have like two or three spots and that's not scarcity. That's literally time wise at the moment. So just let me know. Um, okay. Jamie's, Jamie's got one right there. So literally one or two spots now, guys. So if you're watching this afterwards, feel free to comment or PM me. Um, Jamie will definitely, um, I'll send you a message after my phone call with my client. Awesome guys. Thanks everyone for jumping on. Sorry if I didn't say hi to anyone. It's because your name didn't pop up, but thanks everyone for, um, for listening and commenting. If you've got any questions or you're watching this afterwards, I'll answer them. So post them here as well. Hey, Bumi. And, um, and yeah, if you want to grab one of those spots, just let me know. Talk to you guys soon.